So now we'll see how to analyze some sample data and you'll find this sample data on page 6 of your handout. And so in this particular experiment you can see that we have two groups uh, sham or stroke, so the predictor there is surgery type and the outcome is categorical, so the band was either uh, present or absent. And so what you do in this, uh, in this table, which is called a contingency table, is you type the numbers that fall into each category. So for example here in the sham group 11 samples lacked a band for ATF3 and there were none that contained a band for ATF3 and then in the, sh in the stroke groups uh, I'm sorry, in the stroke group, three samples lacked an ATF3 band, but eight contained the ATF3 band. Now, as we've seen from the previous video, we need to analyze this using a chi-squared test, and you achieve this by clicking Analysis and clicking on this drop-down menu. And you can see that, uh, again, there's all these options, but you just scroll down uh, until you find chi-square. And then you click Run. And it's going to ask you how you set your data up. Now in this case we've set this up as tabulated data. It's also called a contingency table. So uh, if you see raw what you need to do is select tabulated data. Then you click next. And all you do now is you select your two columns of data. So here's your first column. Click here in the blue box. And now, uh, sorry that didn't work. So you click here to highlight the column. And now it's got column one. And then for the next set of observations, column two. Uh, now you click finish. Now, Sigma Plot comes up with a little warning, and it's saying uh, you might want to run a Fisher Exact test instead. And again, I tend to recommend that you follow Sigma Plot's rules of thumb for this. If you want to understand a little bit more about this, you can consult a textbook to see why you would want to run a Fisher Exact test rather than the chi squared test. In this case, I recommend you just go with the recommendation. So click yes. And again, this is where your data was up here, and this is where the chi squared report pops up. So it tells you you ran the chi-squared test, um, or you tried to run the chi-squared test. This was uh, aborted, and instead the Fisher exact test was begun. Um, this is your p-value. So there's a highly significant association between uh, the presence of a band and the group. Um, so here you just see some summary data, but this is a nice explanation of what the result is. The proportion of observations in the different categories which define the contingency table is significantly different than is expected from random occurrence. So what is it, what's it saying is that it's highly significant that um, all of your 11 samples fell uh, lacked a band for the sham group and, and 8 out of 11 contained an ATF3 band for the stroke group. So it's this association that's highly significant. And in a minute, I'll show you how to draw a graph for this kind of data. But what you should be able to see from this table is we don't have any measurement of variability in this study. We're looking at proportions. So in this case, 0 out of 11 had a band in the sham group, and 8 out of 11 had a band in the stroke group. So there's no standard deviation. There's no standard error or confidence interval associated with this data. There are no means. These are just the observations, and that's why we've used a chi-squared test. And this will affect how we present the data graphically in a second.